What's up guys, Ton Ton here. Welcome back to my channel. So today, this is the new dinosaur figures and I kind of excited for this one. Here we have the Studio Series 86 Leader Class Sludge. And for those of you who don't know, he is the third Leader Class Studio Series Dinobot got released after Grimlock and Slack. So this is a really nice signal that Hasbro does not forget the Dinobot lines. So let's begin. So here we have Sludge in his robot mode and I must say that some problem as for Grimlock and for Slack I don't really love this guy in their robot mode because I'm not that into the G1 aesthetic of this guy I mean too bulky and their face is look dumb I know that in the show these guys are dumb and one thing that I kind of don't like about this guy color scheme is that he got far too much red, black and silver with only a little bit of gold on his feet which is kind of a shame And but except for that these guys are huge plenty of surface details and yeah, that's about it. Now let's get to the details of him. First up, we got the head of Sludge. And yeah, that is quite a decent Dinobot face. I mean, it's G1 looking. No expression, silver painted and kind of dumb. For some reason that this guy here got a got two eyes. Why for Grimlock and Slack, they had their visor eyes. And to be honest, I don't like this. Because if you make them like menacing and fearless, why give him a human face? It just makes him look kind of dumber, dumber than the red, the other twos. But yeah, besides for that, there's a really nice chunk of silver paint onto his face and then his forehead. And yeah, that is just about it. I mean, nothing too much. It's just like the basic Autobot G1 head design. And then we got to the torso section. Still the same, you know, just red, black. And of course, the highlight is still must be the Autobot sigils on here they are really nice painted on it which is really cool i like that and it catches the lights and reflect really well that is a plus point over here and up above all that we got tons of surface details here and if you are a panel line guy this must be your opportunity and there's this thing about the torso that i'm gonna mention now because i'm not gonna talk about it during the transformation but if you open this out during transformation you see there's this section here and they looks like rib cage and they're all th they are all these nice details over here. They could have skipped that because this part does not show at all in of the robot mode and the dinosaur mode. But they've done it anyway, so give us a really nice experience. And yeah, this is where I really like it. This ribcage design, it gives kind of a cyborg thingy because like this guy transformed into a dinosaur but not a car or something. And then we got to the arms. The arms, yeah, this is still the same dinosaur leg, robot arms. You see here, here the talons and the fist and all this nice detail and it only got a little bit of paint over here for this black section and that is about it. Moving down here we got this beautiful wings here you just look at that paint that silver paint it's really cool and all and there's a, this gray paint as well and all this nice detail onto it this is really nice I love this and the nice thing is that they have, have details on both of the sides here as well so they doesn't look like just a big piece of plastic but one downside of this is that it would slush the this kind of wings thingy looks really big and it doesn't fall in all the way so it does get in does get into the way of posing this guy sometimes and of course the Dy dynamot being dinobot the dinosaur head is not tucked in in this mode so it's just hanging around like that and then the leg I mean, all the waist and the thigh section are made of a black plastic and I mean surface detail and that is everything we got. And then we got to the leg and you see surface details again. And if you look at the inside of the leg, I mean inside the leg there's this gold piece in the in the middle. I like it. I know that is part of the transformation and but I like it a lot. Just highlighting the figure. Give the figure some more dimensional details or something like that. And of course it's still got the gold feet the painted tails and then some details and some paint in the f in the front of the leg I mean like this is the basic Studio Series 86 Dinobot package you get what you paid for the G1 Dinobot are supposed to be so yeah comparing into a collective size I mean I, I don't like this really like this but comparing this for the nostalgic of a lot of people and the accuracy of the movie I think this still is one of the greatest sludge figures ever created It's movie accurate, it's big and it plays well with other figures So for the accessories, he only came with his blaster which is really nice Black and with some with the gold tipped Which is really cool and the gold scope as well Which is really cool And to attach it, you're just gonna plug it onto his hand Like that 
and that is like the all the accessories he got a bit unfortunate that he doesn't come with any minifigures like we got Grimlock that come with um, that orange guy really and uh, Sludge came with Daniel in his exosuit it's a bit unfortunate that Sludge here doesn't come with anyone I mean like those figures are shit but I was still expecting to have one, at least one of them you know to compensate with the price point and so now let's get to the articulation first what we got the head he can look up really far because of the neck which is really good and not too much down I mean not down at all his head can turn around his arm can move out like that that is all we got because of the block so he can do a 360 and this is where the wings got in the way so even if you move the wing out all the way out it's still gonna hinge in so yeah I say that is the limit all the way back this is the bicep swivel it's quite tight <laughs> and this is the elbow band this is double jointed but th they does not do much because of the piece are too big oh just give me a moment with this bicep and the hands got a rotation and it moves in and out because of the transformation you got a waist swivel pretty clean nothing gets in the way this is a kick to the front kick to the back does kind of block because of the, the dinosaur head and leg but if you do this you get all the you get way more you got a beautiful split and this you got a, a thigh swivel which is really tight this is a knee band and you got some pivot I mean like this is a really great range of pivot not not a bit I mean like for the articulation this is what we expect from a dinobot but in the case of slush it's a little bit not as good as the other two because of the huge wings and the more bulky body design I think so that is my opinion but yeah you can still get him into mode of the poses and I think that he will still look good so for some size comparison here is slush next to studio series Grimlock and Earthrise Optimus and of course they nailed the scale I love this scaling this scaling is like a perfect G1 scaling to me he's the same height as Grimlock and he's taller and bigger than Optimus this is perfect this is really a perfect setup for G1's fan so I think that enough with the robot mode let's get to his transformation Finish transforming sludge. I mean, like the transformation sequence is pretty smooth. I like the way that they keep improving on the previous Dinobots, and yeah, I love that a lot. And what we got here is a really nice and interesting-looking dinosaur. I think this resembles the Brontosaurus. So this is not a Brachiosaurus. And of course, the dinosaur mode captures the perfect image from the G1 design, and. I must say out of the two, I prefer this dinosaur mode. This is the same goes to all the Grimlock and Slack. 
because I think in this dinosaur mode, they got a lot of details that surface detail, the level of surface detail is just crazy. I mean, like, I'm gonna bring in Grimlock for you to see, and I must say that the level of surface detail of this guy is far better than Grimlock. I really love the silver piece on of his back. This here, this silver painted piece, it just highlight all the nice details onto it, and Needless to say, this is the mode that I'm gonna display play him in. One now thing about this guy in this mode is that if I flip him around, because you see there's this big hollow piece over here, and that sometimes bugs me, but to be honest, if I display him like this, then I would hardly ever saw I hardly ever see it anyway. And for weapon storage, of course you can fix it a little bit by tapping the guns in here. You see there's uh, there are these two tabs. Just tap him here. You know fill him in a little bit and yeah he does look better at some point and of course being a dinosaur he still got some articulation so let's check that out so first is the back and they have some hinge over here and they can uh, open out a little bit this is the same articulation of the arms and uh, this is the front leg up and a little bit here and there uh, there's a swivel here but unfortunately there's no pivot of the feet the neck can see the, there's a, pro a problem here I'm gonna bring it out so every time I try to bring the neck down I accidentally open this panel because the joint the connector joints here are kind of weak and it can be up and down a little bit I mean like a lot that's not a little bit this is the movement of the head and you can have it swivel but remember this joint is really tight so when you spin it grab onto the head so it doesn't does not break or anything and of course being a dinosaur you can open now his mouth and really nice nicely done detail you see they even try to resemble a tongue inside that is really cool and of course he got his barrel gun over here and finally it's a size comparison with this fellow dinobot here we have grimlock and slack i mean like in my opinions i think this guy deserves to stay in their dinosaur mode because that is true i remember in g1 they actually using their dinosaur mode more than their robot mode and I think they are perfect to display as their dinosaur mode because to be honest I don't really enjoy the robot mode that much because of the G1 design and stuff but I highly recommend getting all this guy and having them display like this can wait for the upcoming dinobot and so should you get this guy I mean if you're not a hardcore G1 fan or you haven't got any of the previous dinobot then don't this is not for you there are some far more better options but if you are really hardcore G1 fans and you have Grimlock and Slack like me already, definitely getting this guy. It will be worth your money. And so that will be it for today, guys. So I will see you guys later. Tonton out. <laughs>